All right, so this is uh, my last day in Raja Ampat from this trip, and I want to share some of the reflections and feedback about some of the projects that we did, particularly in Manyefun. So, three months from when we were last there, and maybe it's four months, uh, a lot has changed and a lot hasn't changed. Uh, so, first of all, you can see the uh, cell antennas up and you get cell reception everywhere. Might even get some 3G internet uh, if you're lucky. Uh, second thing that's changed is uh, all three of the homestays are building new uh, new cabins. So obviously they're interested in expanding the their capacity. Uh, there's some reorganization as well a bit, but for the most part that's the same. Uh, and another change is uh, you can see the growth of the little puppy that we all fell in love with. Now he's a lot bigger. Uh, so now what kind of things haven't changed? Uh, well, couldn't find any presence of eco-bricking going on when we were there. Uh, we started this project back in December. The locals seemed pretty interested in applying this, but we we actually didn't see uh, any follow through on that. I brought more materials to discuss it, but don't know exactly where that is going to go. Uh, we also noticed that our solar installations are somewhat defunct. The uh, the solar panels are still up, but in both cases the battery banks, the jewel boxes, are uh, are no longer plugged into lights or anything like that. In one of the homestays it was working, uh, in the other one I didn't even know where the jewel box went. Uh, same went with all of our snorkeling and sports equipment. It, it was there, the box that we had cr had created uh, was around but it wasn't accessible, it wasn't something that necessarily the villagers could use at will. Uh, I think that this is kind of similar to the kindergarten project that we saw where it's a great initiative but there needs to be a bit more of a system designed around it and some follow through. Uh, another thing that uh, I couldn't sort of follow up on was the medical kits. Uh, the homestays where we were, they're like, oh, yeah, we have them, but I never actually saw them and I didn't want to push. I felt a bit rude there. Uh, now, one of the things that I think was a lasting impression that we really made came around to our interaction and engagement of the kids. Uh, I tested them out, asking them about what they loved, and what really came out of that was we loved the songs, we loved the games, uh, and they were even able to sing a lot of the songs that we brought to them uh, four months on. <laughs> Uh, I think right there that's a really big impact that we can make and feel comfy standing up by that. Uh, so that kind of gives you uh, an overall feeling. Man Manyafun still feels the same. The Our worry about the cell phones changing everything in months was kind of unfounded, but then there's also an element of, uh, yeah, it's only been a few months, so who knows where that'll go. Uh, coral's just as beautiful, the kids want to play all the time, which is amazing, and now comparing it to a place like Cree, which is a bit more touristy, I realized that we got such strong and authentic uh, community interaction and it was a really powerful effect for both us and for the locals. So uh, that
conclude sort of my uh, what's changed, what's stayed the same in Maniaifun. Thanks.